gentlemen and welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be learning how to make 2D, 3D objects. And we've got to give credit where credit is due and that is this tutorial This tutorial is inspired by Mount Mograph's tutorial which is done in Cinema 4D. And of course we're going to do ours in Blender. So these are this is actually a 3D object, it looks very flat, but we're very 2D. And this is the effect we're going for, so I'll show you how to do this. Okay. Open up Blender, we'll go File New, reload the start of file, if you have got a file open already. Now the first thing we're going to do is change this to Cycles Render, delete the default light. Now we're going to go into Orthographic View, and hit 1 on our keyboard to go into Front View. We're then going to start modeling the base. To do the base, we're going to scale on the Z axis and pull down. Then we're going on to the top view and scaling on the Y axis. That's our base done. We're going to scale it down a bit more. Okay, there we go. We're going to Shift D to duplicate. Drag up, rotate on the X axis by 90 degrees and scale up on the Z and on the X. And make it thinner on the Y, something like that. We're then going to hit Shift D to duplicate, scale it down and pull forward. Scale it up a tiny bit more and that's going to be our screen. The next thing to do is the side. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to add a curve, a Bezier curve. Now we're going on to the top view and rotating this by on X by 90 degrees and then Z by 90 degrees. Now go into the right, uh, hit 3 on your keyboard to go into uh, the right view and we're going to hit tab to edit. Now the first thing we're going to do is select this point, hit G and we're going to move it to here. We're going to hit G over here and we're going to hit this nerb, uh, this like nerb, hit G and we're going to swing it round. G. Hit G and we're going to adjust that. G to adjust that. And that's our, our connector. Now, the way we're going to make this actually 3D, this path, is to select our curve properties here and bring out the extrude. Now, you could have a very small, something like that. Actually, I'm very liking that. Or you can have quite a long one like that. But I'm liking that. It's looking really good. Now we're going to hit Alt C and mesh from curve meta surf or text. We're then going to hit the add modifier. We're going to add a solidify modifier, and the default settings will do fine. Okay, the next step is the bit that makes it 2D. We're going to first of all position the camera, and we're going to do this by just entering in the set values. 90 degrees on the X, always 0, and then we'll pull this out on the Y. We're going to Camera Properties and set that to Orthographic. Excellent, now hit 0 to view the camera, and we're going to hit Shift F. Well, sorry, not Shift F, we're going to then bring it up on the Y. Ah, sorry, bring it up on the Z axis like so. Now that's the first step. The next step now is we're going to actually add the shaders. This is the bit that makes the difference. Now the shader for all the materials is a emission shader. Set it to your color. I'm just going to choose a color like so. Set it to that. I'll make a new one for that. Yeah, that should do. Emission. 
this one well yeah we'll keep that and this one we're gonna make a green hit render and as you can see we have that really nice 2d effect all done in blender and that's just a really you can make some really cool effects with this um yeah what else can we cover you could also put an image here and if we were doing some more detail you could make a cutout there could add some simple and that's it so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i should can i will see you in my next video